the trainers they brought horses yes they did they had a they, good show uh, if uh if we had had some ethical treatment in the inspection area it would probably been a whole lot better but i watched some of it and some of it's just i don't know but we'll be talking about that later uh you got you do your thing and then we'll this guy said that guy's name's Jerry, too, the one that says we'll be right back. <laughs> I said, yep, that's him. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry. World Grand Champion, Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000. Or select Amateur Show Pleasure World Grand Champion, El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these World Grand Champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another world grand champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. I fell in love with Tennessee from the second that I saw it. From the beautiful rolling hills to the beautiful rivers and streams, the ecosystem and the wildlife are awesome here. But it needs constant care, and that means picking up litter and trash every single chance you get. It's totally polluting the ecosystem, totally polluting the natural resources, and it's a big hazard for our local wildlife. Please join NobodyTrashesTennessee.com and join me in keeping Tennessee beautiful and keeping this part of our great legacy. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. Alrighty, got some announcements. Starting Thursday night, May 30th, Columbia Spring and Jubilee. Yes, They're going to have a good one too. Uh, starts on the 30th, it goes through the first. Contact number is 931 797 3139. Start time 6 p.m. Judges Scott Beatty. Scotty Brooks and Justin Janae. And here's the good one, buddy. Amateur Youth Jamboree. And this is amateur and youth. No open classes. June the 7th. That's my birthday. Gonna be a good one. Shovel, Tennessee. Tweeba's doing this. You can contact the, Crant the Cantrail at 706 366 1011 for ringside box seats. You can get in touch with Chris Hazelwood, 931-215-2255, and start time is 5 p.m., and get this, David Bullock 
and Tom Mink. Now, buddy, right there, two <laughs> judges. Two good judges. I, so I like it. Right about I that. like Dr. David Bullock yeah, now. Uh -huh. and, and Tom, he, he and I talked job. about yeah. judging, and he, he is really wanting to do a good job so he can see what kind of job he does. Yeah. I, I like the way he said that. And then the next night, June the 8th, contact Connie Allen for the Walking for Cancer show, 931-684-5915. Start time is 5 p.m. Who's the judge? Mr. Sam Sorrell. Sam Sorrell. And he, he's a good one too. Yes, sir. He uh, showed this weekend. He did a, did a real good he did job. Good job. But I'm looking forward to that amateur youth show. That that had to be something that he came up with. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it, 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 and Chris is good at it too, but they coming up with something like that to where it's nothing but amateurs all night long, it's a little bit different and uh, not quite as expensive because you don't have the rider yeah. and all that. But it, it's a good thing that trainers get to show their training skills by getting the horses well, ready. You're exactly right about so that. Why yes. ain't you got me ready? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's, a, that's a good question that's, for you. I Jerry. plead the fifth. Uh, I plead the fifth. Oh, you would. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't I can get on more. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I have. I he, have he, just, he just tickled him because I let him lead me around. <laughs> That's right. There. We need to have another class like that. It's just <laughs> I ain't I do doing it. it. <laughs> but, but I will say this. I have to take my hat off to Bobby Jones. He jumped right in there. He said, oh, hey. yeah. He said, if, if you'll do that, I'll do it too. <laughs> so so that, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. All right, where are we going to go? We're going to go to Upper Cumberland for some BPs. That was the 50th show up there. Yes. They had a good good show. They had a good, real good show. And I'm gonna make a statement here. I seen Dixie getting better and better. They have groomed that mare for Allie Joe. Yep. And this class right here, she was outstanding, but we got another video of her later that uh, this weekend, she come in there flat getting it. Allie Joe, I tell you, every time you see her, she just keep getting better and better. You she know, does. Showing. she does. Right here he is. I, I found out the name, why he named this horse that name right there. Everybody knows Jive Talking. That's right. <laughs> but he say he like, he like um, jazz music. Yeah. And so that's why he, he named he it that. Jive. Yeah. But we used to talk about that Jive Talking. I talked uh -huh. to him about that. He said, you'd ask him. And I said, yeah. I said, I knew it had what it had to do with because they used to talk about you just Jive Talking or you jiving. You doing this? Yeah. But see, I'm a little older than you, so I. I oh yeah, that's remember, right. I that's remember right. that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right here's Beach Bum Bruce and Bob Roach. Now, buddy, he he uh he put on a show. He did put a show on up there. That's a nice horse, Mr. Bob is a real nice guy. I mean, I really oh, appreciate all the videos he gives us and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, he's a, he he. Furnishes us videos anytime we can't be up to yes. a certain place, and he does he does a great job. He's got a big following up in Kentucky, yes, too, and in Tennessee. But he tries to cover all the shows. So, Beach Bum Bruce, right there, good horse. He does good. And right here, Joe Paul. That's Amateur a real nice special. horse. Hey, that horse. They've got his number. Yes, they do. He was awesome this week over at Shelbyville. Now, he really was. Now, this was a couple of weeks ago. But now... Shane, he does a real good job presenting that horse. I mean, Shane's a, a real good rider. Oh, yeah. He's a good dude, too. Yeah, he is a he nice really guy. Is. And Shane's I a real nice sat guy. sat down there and watched some of the inspections and talked for a while. It's... Uh, it's a hurdle getting through the the inspections back there, but yeah. once they did, we had some huge classes. Had some good classes, yeah. And I mean, mm -hmm. nice horses. All right, let's go to the tennis show. Now that was good. They had a real good show. They moved that at the last minute. Yep. Tijano and Daniel Smith for Larry and L.C. West. That young man sets the horse real well. Hey, he, he, he is an outstanding rider. He is. He, he, to me, he reminds me of a trainer. Yeah. Yeah, he really does. The way he sets, the way he presents himself. 
kind of remind me of sit up like a young Tim Gray or something like that. Yeah. You know, he sits up in that crowd. Right. Yeah. He gets it done. His sister, Arbery, is going to start showing. I'm looking forward to that. She may show in this year's show. Okay. I need to ask Elsie about that. Because that's. Hard eight. Right here. Hard eight, Skylar Nipper. So proud for Skylar. I mean, she, she works hard at it. Oh, yeah, she does. And I was, you know, a lot of times I think she should have won when, yeah. when she didn't. And, and, but I watch a lot of people ride and cannot understand how they get tied where they get tied. Yes. Now she, she presents it well, lovely young lady. Yes. She works for the scoop. Well, she took a, come out and took a yeah, picture of that. Uh -huh. Sure did. Right there is my ticket to ride in Ray Abernathy. I bet you her daughter is over there hollering for her. Oh, yeah. I heard that one. Oh, she was just a jabber. <laughs> Ray's a real good rider now. I tell you, she's, she sits a horse. She presents a horse real well. She knows how to do it. She knows how to do it. She's she she been around some top trainers in her lifetime. Tell me about it. Her mother can ride. Yes, she her can. Her mother's a good show person. Sandy's a good rider. Good horse, right? Real there. good horse. I'm gonna tell you. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get into something. I made a post the other morning about I got two phone calls asking me the same thing. Why would anybody want to stay in this industry when they're not appreciated, so to speak, or treated like they don't belong? Both of those phone calls were about the same person, Frank Eichler and Debbie, his wife and the way they are treated in the show ring. Continuously, no matter what class it is, this is the caliber of horse they got, but they're always tied down. I can't, to me, I cannot understand that. Not, not asking for any favors or anything, but there is no way that the caliber of horses that these people have that they deserve to continuously be tied last, next to last, or left completely off the card. I don't care who's judging. That's right, I'm gonna tell you, them, them are two nice horses. I mean, you look up and them horses are doing the same gear every time yeah. you look at them. I mean, they're not head down, or hitching, or hopping, or nothing like that. I mean, every time you look at them, I mean, they are- They flat walking. Yes. And I mean, they're, I'm not saying they ought to get first, but there is no way. And people, I've, I've had a lot of people ask me, why do they stay in here? Or why do they treat them that way? And that's something I don't understand. I truly don't. Well, I'm gonna tell you, Jerry, and I answer that question a lot of times myself, is because they love the horse. That's it. I mean, and that's, and that's what it all boils down to. You if know. it wasn't for, for Debbie liking the show and loving the show, they, they'd been gone, but yeah. Frank helps this industry, works hard for this industry. Yeah. They're still treated bad, and people get mad at me for saying that if they want to, but it won't be the majority of the people because the majority of people I've talked to agree with exactly yes. what I'm saying right now. Now we're gonna go fun show. Right here's title defense in Samantha Green for Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. I'm gonna tell you, Jerry. That horse made a real good show. Hey, that horse has been a winner in every division, even state class. Yes. So it continuously to win. And Samantha, hey, she might as well be a trainer sitting up there because the way she rides her and her, her whole family yeah. ride on. Mm -hmm. And I know Miss Virginia is ticked. I bet she is. I'm so proud for him. You know, that's a. That horse is well deserved. Good horse, real yeah. good horse. And here's Jose Showoff. This was a reserve yeah. winner. 
But I'm going to tell you, this whole show is a show off. This horse is in 2024 has got been out for three great performances. Won one of them and got the reserves. And I'm going to tell you, she's going to continue to do that. That's well. right. So she, that lady can ride. She can ride. Caress. Yeah, Caress can and ride a she horse. She knows how to ride a horse well. Here's your four-year-old stallion canter class. Hey, I can sit here and talk all day. But big John Coffee. He's a piece of work. He is. He's, he's a nice horse. I'm so I'm happy for for Justin and stuff like that. You know, that's what you look for. That one top one. And the Beasley. Yeah, and the Beasley too. I mean, they. The juror was was reserved with Michael Wright, Honky Tonk, and John Allen Calloway. I'm a reflection, Dale Watts. He's chilling out, Sam Martin, Pete Mitchell, Brad Beard, and Charles Lindbergh. Thomas Derrickson finished out. I'm the gonna ribbons. tell you, and that was a good class. Yes, it was a that good class. That was a class. real good class. A tough class. class. A tough class. I mean, it had some top, some nice horses in there. You take that honky tonk horse, he's a real good horse. Hey, it, it, it's gonna be hard. Now, this is a canter class too, so this yeah. horse is getting prepared for state class quality. And that, that's one thing I always look at the four-year-old class for, especially the canter. I want to see how they're doing it, how they're moving, get an idea of what's to come. Yep. And there is good things to come from Big John Coffee. Tell you what, that class. It was a good it class. Was, it was full of good, good horses in there. I mean, that's what I'm saying. If you tied that class right there up, you done a real good job. Because I mean, all them horses are good horses. But how there he is, he's a big thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. powerful. Off to Joe. Joe told me, said, hey, he can do it all day long. Keep going. Got a crate can. There he is, Big John Coffee and Justin Harris. He is a world champion 2003, world champion three year old. So now he's started off at 2024. In the four-year-old counter yeah. class with a big victory. So this was a tough one. The fun show was loaded with good four-year-olds. What is it? Coffee, but not spelled the same. <laughs> Justin Harris in the saddle. What a big, powerful horse. And I know Beth Beasley is too. Oh, yes. You're getting ready. Right here's Country Pleasure English Amateur. GG's Majestic Jordan Howell took the blue for William Bradford. Jose's Twisted Gin, Patty Pollock, Silver Spur Legacy. Habanero Picante, Perry Walden. But I'm gonna tell you about GG's Majestic. 11 World Championships, four World Grand Championships, Multi reserves. Yep. What more can you ask for? That's a nice horse right there. Yeah, you know, it a lot is. Walk and shape to it. Now he he's been successful with multiple riders. Yeah. Right there he is Gigi's majestic, eleven-time world champion four-time world grand champion, and multi-time reserve world and world grand champion. Yes. <laughs> you can get a lot of horses, and it's hard to be able to say that about oh, yeah. Country pleasure makes no difference. It's, he's there. And that nice. horse, hey, that horse been shown by multiple people yeah. and always in the winter circle. Just a great horse.
15-2 clash. A kingpin and Bob Adcock took the blue. Formal line, Carol Baxter was reserved. Dixie White Sox, Linda Gerard. Walking Mr. Charlie and Michael Mosteller. And my major ordeal, Debbie Eichler finished out the ribbons. I tell you what, Mr. Bob done a real good job in this class right here. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, that's tell a nice right. horse. That kingpin? Yeah. He, he's a piece of work. There's Debbie. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, I had him higher than he is. Yeah. But he was steady all the way. And that kingpin. There's kingpin. He's hard a nice horse. Yeah, he's a hard to beat. Carol made a good show in that class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought several of them yeah. made real good. I was a good class too, I'm gonna tell you. Good. Yeah. But now it's Bob right there now. I tell you, he he done a good job. Oh horses. yeah, it was loaded with some good horses. But right there, it, it's hard to beat that. Yeah. And, and I'm gonna tell you, formal line, it's hard to beat. Mm -hmm. Kingpin. Now here you go. He's a three-time reserve world grand champion. He is a world champion, and he's the winner of the fast and the fun show this yeah. year. So he's he's uh, he's gonna be hard to beat. But, yeah. He's got his horse. He's got world championship and world grand championships under his belt. Reserve world grand championship. But Bob, he, he Bob's just a good jockey. Oh, yeah, now. he is. He can get it done. Oh, it's real sweet behind there. Oh, tell me about it. Good horse. Right here, former line. Yeah, he's a 2023 20, world champion and world grand champion. He's two-time great performance too. He has been good. He's a, oh yeah, he's a good horse. He, he's headed for 2024. And that's it. Some, sometimes early in the year, these horses they may be a reserve. Later in the year, look out here they come. Right You're here right. Is one. So you, you don't win world championships and world grand championships if you're not good. That you exactly that's right on that. Fact, that you exactly right on and that. And that class was loaded with them. Yep. All right. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna go. You're gonna do your thing. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, 
I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax-deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All right, welcome back. We're going to take off on Friday night. Thursday night was good. Friday right. night got better. Yes. We're going to start out with the, I believe it's the three-year-old Marion Gilding class. Ladies Privilege and Thomas Derrickson took the blue. He's walking in Dixie, Chad Thompson Reserve. Jose's Jackpot, Jerry Graves. Sweet I Am, Lake Weaver. Mr. Delta Blue, Blake Sims. Goddess, Amber Zan. I'm a little lady. Casey Wright and strong ambush, Ryan Gannon finished out the ribbons. But it was. This is a real good class here, too. Yes, but it was Ladies Privilege and Thomas yeah. Derrickson. And I'm going to tell you, Thomas is becoming a showman. Yes, he is. He's doing a real good job. He is just super, super. Thomas doing a real good job, I tell you, I'm so proud for him. I tell He's you. a young trainer coming up in this industry that's, you know. Hesse and Tim Johnson are tickled with him, I can tell you yeah. that. They are very happy with the way that the horse is doing and, and how Thomas is doing in the ring. They had some real nice horses in there. Tell me about it. It was stacked. Yeah. When that, when that class right there, you've done something. I mean, that's just it. out there and oh, see yeah. all those horses in the, especially when they line up. Yeah. I mean, it just, there he is, ladies privilege and Thomas Derrickson from Missy and Tim Johnson, your three-year-old Marion Gildon winner. This horse had a good 2023 year and has started off 2024 with two first and two outings undefeated in 2024. Good horse. They're getting ready for the celebration. I can tell you what they're doing. And doing a good job of it. Doing a real good job. I'm, I'm, I'm one proud of Thomas. I'll just tell you the truth, I A real nice young man, too. Yes, he is. Right here, Jimmers, Tequila Cash, and Carol Baxter. Won his first outing of the year in the Dixie, the, the heart of Dixie show. Yeah. And then comes up here and get a reserve at the fun show. I'll tell you what, that's a good, that's a good mare. That is a good mare. Tequila Cash. I tell you what, Carol's a good rider. Carol is a really good rider. She can flat ride. Yeah, she can. She can do a good job at it. That's a nice one. Yep. Right here's your amateur canter class. 
Uh, buddy, I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> this right here was, was uh, a class to remember. It wasn't a huge class, but the horses in there was nice were top, horses. Were top caliber horses, every one of them. It's true blue. Well, Jake, he, he rides that horse very well now. Tell me about it. Mr. True Blue took the blue with Jake Jacobs. Envy us and Kim Leonard now. That's a good horse. Yes. Charlie Paycheck, Caroline Ellen, Elliot Allen, and a Dixie General, Laura Moni, finished out the ribbons. But I, I, I was tickled with the performance of Mr. Two Blue. Now I really was. He, he was on the money. Oh buddy. yeah. And all these horses looked good. I mean, they really did. You know, I'm gonna tell you, doing that fun show, you had a bunch of nice, good horses that was in that Tell show. Me about it. I mean, it was a bunch of good horses. Right there was four in there, but now, Mr. True Blue, they're 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 breeding a lot of mares to him yeah. right now too, and then he's still coming in there and performing like this. But the word is that this is the last year. Heavyweight to be on you. Uh huh. <laughs> it' gonna be a lightweight we on you. Yeah. <laughs> Jake said that Hallie Thomas is going to kill days or number <laughs> <laughs> That little girl. There he is, Mr. True Blue. That's a good four-year-old world grand champion, world champion, and undefeated in the amateur counter division. Hey. Don't be, it's gonna be hard to beat him. But we'll, we'll see Ali Joe in the stirrups. Oh yeah. I told him that's the way it goes. His daddies always lose everything to their wife or, <laughs> or their children, one or the other. And he's no different. I do like that old. But I've been accused of liking too many of them. <laughs> Nice horse right there. Mm -mm. Uh, amateur pony. This, I'm telling you, this class right here was stacked. Look, listen yeah. to this. I'm Charlie Black. Dahlia Smith Hart took the blue. Dark Rain. Taylor Walters was reserved. World champion, too. Yeah. Dark Rain. My Ticket to Ride, Ray Abernathy. Strike, Lisa Baum, another world champion. Yep. As I Am, Ashley Ray. I'm Just Kidding, Casey Tracy. Huntress, Bart McWaters, and I Am Bentley, Becky Might. Yeah. That class was stacked to the hill. That was. That was a good class right there. I, I just didn't watch classes like that all day. Yeah. I am I am a big Dark Rain fan, but I like that Charlie Black too. Yeah. And Ticket to Ride. I mean, it just as I am, just full of strike. There's a lot of good horses in there. There's a lot of good horses in there. Ah, you know, I didn't know it, but according to what I was told, if this is not correct, the on the scorecard. You can have two first and not even be on the third card and still be the winner. I always thought it was yeah. a ten-point system, mm -hmm. but under this new system, that, that at least this is what I was told. Yeah. I was looking at some of them cards and they didn't add up. Yeah.
Go on, kill him. Good damn horse. I was a good horse in that. That boiled down to a matter of choice. Yep. He I'm Charlie it. Black, took the blue for Dahlia Smith and Har. For Smith and Har. Five years old. Undefeated in 2024. She's another good rider. Real good rider. Oh, Lord, yes. Undefeated. And she shows that horse down. Kenny did show him. So. Yeah. But now she, she's more or less taken over. I'm Charlie Black. That horse just five, two. Yeah. Putting on a show. Amateur five-year-old stallion. Now, this, this was another class that was was stacked full of them. Borna Maverick and Bob Adcock won the class. I love that. Yeah, horse. I do too. Love him. Don't care what. World champion, he, he's good. Chaos is Mike Tracy. Honors roll call, Janie Chapman. I am Jose, John Gladney. Cerveza, Debbie Eichler. Empowers Plowboy, Susan Irwin, took the blue. I had him a lot higher than what he was. He's a nice horse. Right. Well, he's got a back end, front end, a good head shape. Does it all just like that. Yeah. But is that right there? That's a nice horse right there. That horse there every year, like he just keeps getting he better and better and better. He does. He looks I mean, like he's getting like, better you know? and better. Just saying, here, I'm coming. Yeah. I'm coming. He's a world grand champion yeah. too, ain't he? Yeah, yeah. he's mm -hmm. a world grand champion, two-time world champion and two-time reserve world grand champion. Yeah. So he he is he has been in the mix since day one. Yeah. I'm good old buddy. Born a Maverick, Bob Adcock takes the blue. 2023 world grand champion, two-time world champion, two-time reserve world grand champion. And he's five years old now. Yep. That means he's been a winner since he was two. <laughs> he just keeps going. He, he, I'm going to tell you, he's a good horse. Hey, beautiful horse. He's yep. one that catches your attention when you come in, keeps your attention throughout the show. Yep. Gets it done. Amateur three year old stallions. Now this was this was a tough class. This, yeah, this is real tough. tough. This class. Errol Smith and Courtney Luttrell took the blue. Country is cornbread and Janet Fostick was reserved. Java, Nathan Oliver. Therefore I am Kim Leonard and camouflaged. Tina Moss Good finished out the ribbon. Did you know this Errol Smith? I mean, hey. I'm going to tell you, that's a good horse. Didn't you start that I, horse? I started that horse. I had that horse ever since he was a baby as a, as a yearling. Is that and right? all the way up. And I we started that horse and got him going. Paul Simmons owned him and um, had him real good. And I was telling everybody I had a good horse. And everybody kept passing him up. And I told Kevin about coming out there look at him. And he come out there one time, looked at him, and bought him that same day. Hey. That's what it takes when you got well, a good one. You, he's a, Come he's and a, get him. He's a good little horse. He won a class celebration last year. I mean, he's... Yeah, he's a world 2023 world champion. Yeah. And undefeated this year in the first two outings. So Snap Wood is doing, doing a real good job with that horse. Like Errol Smith and Courtney Luttrell for Luttrell Courtney and Connor. Is another good rider. She yeah. rides a real horse. She rides a good horse all the time. 2023 world champion and undefeated in the first two outings in 2024. Good little horse. Won two big classes. And keeping, just going to keep going. That's it what makes it you takes. feel good when you, hey. when, you, when you start it and he turned out to be proud to do this right here. Hey, that's what it's all about. Get them good ones. That's, that's a nice horse. Courtney and Jimbo and them on them together. So, I mean, that's a... 
I'm just glad to see you going on. Well, they got a good jockey. Yes, they got a real yeah, good she, jockey. She can flat ride. Yes, she can. I wonder if she can play golf like her daughter. <laughs> now, I know her daughter can play golf, yes. buddy. <laughs> her, she's a real good golfer. She said her just beating her daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. I guess we've got to. Yep, you're up. We'll be right back after these messages. During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live full guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee walking horse champion. The Tennessee walking horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse, coming up. Last time I saw him was this morning on the news. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the weatherman. He's my man. All right, we're going to go to Saturday night. And things just got better. Now, right here is Char Queen and B.B. Beasley. I tell you what, Char Queen. Winning trainers, <laughs> classes, open classes, you name it, and this horse has been winning them. That's right. And, and them, them, them twins? They do a good job. Well, BB is, is the main rider of this horse, but now the trainers have won amateur classes and everything, and you, that's a big mare. It is a big mare. BB does a great job does, of showing her. She does a real good job. Did you get that cookie picture I sent you? Yeah, I saw it. I told her, I said, yeah, he'd take a picture and send me the picture and eating a cookie. cookie that's right. All right, now here, here it was right there. <laughs> I sing Dixie and Allie Jo Jacobs was on the money. Yes, yeah, she was. That was a good class. That horse that made it. She made a real good ride. Southern Attitude, Levi Parker was reserved. Schofield and Elizabeth Thomas. It's the medalist in Eli Cunningham. I'm on good behavior, Mary Beach Elise. Charlie's perfect angel, Cade McAllister, in a good time. Boston Kate Tillman finished out the ribbon. Eli made a good ride. Huh? Hey, all these uh, kids, kids made did. a good ride. That's right. I mean, he... they've been grooming that I sing Dixie yeah. for Allie Joe. And I watched her last year ride a couple of times. And she just getting better and yep. better. And the other night, we were sitting up there, there was two gentlemen in front of me, and I said, I really like that mare right there. And this guy said, well, I've been watching this other horse. And he started, he said, you're right. So that mare is good. Yeah. Right there is hard to beat, beat that yeah, right there. That's right. Eli Cunningham can flat ride, and he puts on the show. Yeah, he does. So anytime he comes in there, he comes in there to win. win. Don't want to fool around. He wants to win. 
He really loved them horses. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, if you got two kids that really love them horses, yeah. it's Ali Joe and Eli. I mean, and they Eli. really, like, I mean, they really into them horses now. You in there with them? You in there with a dog bite? That's right. Now, this is a great big mare now. And Ali Joe's just getting better and better at riding. I sing Dixie. Two outings, two first. Yep. You give that young lady time and, and she'll mold to the horse. Oh, yeah. Right here was a, a super class, amateur mare and gilding class. Yes. Old Rocky Top and Lily Ridley took the blue. A home run by Ted, Greg Kaiser. A neon cowboy, Brian Nichols. Shady Hawkins, Linda Gerard. Flying High CC, a world champion, Cheryl Crawford. Charlie on Fire, Jeanette Taylor. By Felicia, Kathy Stewart. And America's Strong, Bartman Waters finished out the ribbon. But I'm gonna tell you, I like the name. Yep, I'm a Tennessee fan. <laughs> but Rocky Top, 2023 world champion, undefeated since, since the celebration of last year. And that includes two wins this year so far. Well, she won out after the celebration. I'm gonna tell you, she's a, a real good rider. I remember her in Tunica, buddy. She was tearing it up. I, you know, that, she's got a little spot in my heart there because I remember when she was a little kid and she used to ride in front of me on a horse called Major Scratch when her mom started riding. Her you mom's a good rider, yeah. When I was just kind of starting on my own, I had horses for them. Well, I can tell you, the little lady can. Uh, she can ride a horse. Yes, now, she can. And that Rocky Top, I'm gonna tell you, he's a super horse. Well, like I say, I like the name. Yes. <laughs> I like the horse. Right there he is, Old Rocky Top and Lily Ridley for the Allen Ridley family. 2023 world champion. And since the celebration has not been defeated. It won Tunica, I believe up in North Carolina. That's a real good family right there. And not been beat this year either in two outings. He's headed to the big oval. That's right. He's setting our sights, that's for sure. Lily is a good rider, a real good rider. Does a good job, yeah. no doubt about it. He really does a good job. So proud for him. I am, I tickle for him. Yep. Right here, pick your partner. I talked to I talked to, to, to Shane down, we was watching the inspections, and uh, I said, you gonna show something? He said, well, if we get through that, we're gonna show. <laughs> and he said, Joe Paw, and I said, tell you what's good, there he is right there. That's a good horse right there. But Joe Paw took the blue with Shane Porterfield and Tanner Burks. Mossberg, Randy Stone, Lake Weaver. Manning, Molly Walters and Taylor Walters. Hey. World champion 22, 20, 18, and 2017. That's Manny. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Reacher, Joanna Mitchell, and Jay Mitchell. Right there is Molly. But when you got that caliber of horses in there. Yeah. I've always liked Manny. Oh yeah, Manny's a good horse. But Joe Paul, they've just got his number. Yeah. Now they do. They, they he is locked in. Just always in the hunt in, in the open and amateur division. You can always look. I like that him. slow walk. Oh, shade. I do too. Yeah. They do a great job. Pick your partner. Good horse. Yep. 
I tell you what, Shane Porterfield is hard to beat. Yeah. He is. Deserves everything he gets because he, he, he's a big supporter of the industry and he, he can flat ride a horse. That is nice. Right here, your three-year-old stallion, and I'm gonna tell you, spotlight on Jose. I'm sure. Was on, he was on the money for he Bill was. with Bill Calloway in the saddle for Bob Adcock. Eight mile, Casey Wright was reserved. Belmont, Lake Weaver, Tennyson, Chris Helton, Ultra Black Pistol, Renardo Green, Night Horse, Steve Bean, The Real Shady, Dan Waddell, and Am I the only one, Reggie News? I love that name. Yeah. Am I the only one who sees this? But spotlight on Jose, I'm gonna tell you, I, I got sold on him quick. He is tough. That's a good horse right there. Tell me about it, man. He's another one. Every from the two-yo year to this year, you can see you a difference. See, you see a major, major difference. difference. Yeah. That he's just better. Yeah. Spotlight on Jose and Bill Calloway. He was your two-year-old world champion and reserve world grand champion and undefeated in 24. Yeah. And you can see the major steps that horse has taken. But I'll bet you money Bob Adcock ends up in that saddle sooner or later. <laughs> he, he, he ain't going to have a horse that good that he don't ride. <laughs> but now that that is nice. I'm going to say, Jerry, they, they might campaign that horse to be in the big state class. Well, you could be very well right because he is that caliber he, he of, that horse. Type of horse. The strides he's yeah. taken forward, pretty, pretty good. Here's your youth ponies. Now, this was a tough class. Big enough. I am big enough. And Maxine Beasley took yep. the blue. I like Jen. Caroline Stanley was reserved. And the country lineman with B.B. Beasley was third. But now you got three good ponies. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I mean three real good ponies in there. Yeah. Some good ponies. Tell me about it. Up there is I'm big enough and Maxine Beasley. That's they won that horse has won world championship with Beth and Maxine. Okay. And winner two major shows this year. So they they're getting it done. They're getting it done big time. You just have to watch them. And I'm gonna tell you, Maxine. She 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 can she can ride. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them girls does a good job on riding the horse. Yes, they do. Home, both of them. Yes, they do. And right there is a country lineman. There ain't nothing short about no, that. It ain't. The country lineman, two-time world champion, two-time world grand champion. And it was in that class. So that just gives you an idea of what all was going on. That's one good horse. Oh, yeah. When you got that caliber of horse in there, and PB's a good rider. Here's Forma Line, your 15 to and under reserve winner. 2023 world champion, world grand champion. Had, has had already two great performances this year, including open and That's a good in, in amateur right there. division. You're going to hear some more about him before the year is over yep. with. 
Oh, Carol can ride the hair off his horse too. Yep. Josh is in there. Josh does a good job on that horse. They do a good job training that horse, him and his dad, Dale. Mm -hmm. You know, he, and being from down in Southport, Mississippi, and don't get to show a lot. Yeah. They have to you know, travel a long, travel ways, to long show ways to show horses. Yeah. Right here is my brother in arms and Thomas Derrickson for Missy and Tim Johnson. This horse right here just gets better and he better. Does. He does. He's always in good ribbons, but he, he continues to improve. And I know Missy and Tim are both tickled with him. Yeah. Good horse. I'm, I'm proud, proud of Thomas. I am too. I, I am very he's proud one, of him. He's one that I've got to watch grow up. Yep. <laughs> if you know what I mean. A lot of people don't know it, the Derricksons were their first family ever on what a horse. And right here is Zaro Jr. And, and Beth Beasley. Hey, world champion, world grand champion. Does that tell you? That's right. Beth does I mean, a good job hey, on riding too. Just having a good year. She is, uh, I, I like that horse. That's a good um, talk at the dinner table when they're talking about the blue ribbons they didn't want at the horse show. When oh, they yeah. They eat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they won a bunch of That's them. That's right. I told them, I talked to the girls and I told them I was looking forward to the day I saw all three of them in the ring against each other. <laughs> and I just figured out how they can do it. Beth needs to buy her a pony. pony that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if Beth buys her a pony, we can have them all in the pony class yeah. and just let her go. Because that would be good. We've seen we've seen Molly and, and, and Taylor show. Yeah. So it, it I just think it's cool when the family gets in there and that's and right. goes, at, goes it. at it and show but against each other. Just see who's gonna do what. Yeah. <laughs> but it is. Now Jake, he he, he and uh Ali Joe, they'll do the Am, am, am and yeah. stuff, uh -huh. but Ellie Jo demands that she goes last. Yeah. So she is the one. She's the trainer. <laughs> She's the trainer, yeah. So, but I tell you what, trainers, the fun show this year, my hat goes off to the trainers. They brought their horses, they presented them. Yep. The inspections were, everybody knows what we went through. They try to provoke the people. Uh, my hat goes off to one lady in there that I don't know if I could have took the abuse that she was taking from the BMO. And it was obvious what she was doing, but she she stood her ground and got her horse, let the horse be inspected, and yeah. that was it. I'm, that We don't want to say nothing to them because that's what they want. That's what they're trying to do. Everybody go to Columbia this week, and we will... See you again next week. Good luck. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat. So they say, I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.